this is a construction of intersecting vertical planes. So when we do intersecting vertical planes, there's lots of different ways you can do it, but I think the easiest way is to draw um, the parts that show in the front first. So we're gonna take a ruler, or a straight edge, so you'll probably have a protractor, and I'm going to make this go out, let's see, make it go like this. I'm just gonna do like an inch and a half this way. And I'm gonna go an inch and a half the other way as well. Just try to kind of keep them similar slopes, like this one's going up, so then the negative of that slope. If it's not exact, it doesn't matter. Go like this, inch and a half, just to make them uniform. Okay, and then I'm doing vertical planes, so their intersection is going to be um, the vertical line as well. So I'm gonna actually measure the sides first, so let's measure the sides. I'm gonna do two inches for the sides. And try to draw a vertical line. Might look a little off because I might be not straight exactly with a the camera. There we go. And then we definitely wanna make sure these are all the same um, length here. Make a nice pretty picture. So we're gonna do another two inches here and then do two inches here. Okay, all right, so this is the front part of the plane that's showing, and then we're going to go ahead and draw this line here, and draw this one here. This is all part of the visible plane here. I don't know if you can see over the shadow here. There we go. All right, so that's the front part. So now we're gonna draw the back parts of the planes. And so there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it so that it's um, sticking out, or you can do it so that it's gonna hide behind here. I'm gonna do the, when it hides behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this line that I had. I'm gonna extend it just, um, I'm gonna do an inch and a quarter. Oh well, that's not exactly an inch and a quarter. I wasn't starting the right spot. Let's do, let's just do a full inch there. So I'll just cut it off a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So I'm just gonna extend it an inch. Okay, and then we want to, since these are two intersecting vertical planes, this piece back here is gonna be the end of this one it needs to have the same side um, length. So we're gonna do two inches over here as well. But notice when we get into the back, when we're getting, because this is the part of the plane that's in front, when we get to the back, you have to draw it as a dash line. So I'm gonna start here and do a vertical line, two inches long. So start here, okay, and now I'm in here, so I'm gonna go dash line until I get to four here. Okay, and that's where I stop. And then this should be, this was a straight line, and this should be, it should have been parallel to it. So it's also going to be, if we extend this line, it's going to hit exactly where we want it to. And again, this piece is behind it, so we're going to extend with a dashed line because that's behind the plane. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with the other side. So we're gonna go two inches, vertical line from here. So I'm gonna make sure it's vertical here. Solid, and then go dashed. Okay, and then again, should make a nice little parallelogram so it should meet exactly where we need it to. It's still behind the plane, so we're going dashed. There you have it. And then we can also shade in uh, to make it a little more obvious what's going on. So we can do some shading here. So I'll shade this plane here. So if you notice, I'm just gonna try to go fast, a little fast here so it might not be perfect. With that, because this piece is hidden and then this piece. Here's that plane cutting through 
that other vertical plane and um, so it's we can see this because it's in front of the other one so as you can see when we shade it it makes it look really nice and I'll go back and just shade this here it's hard to do it fast so when you do it make sure you take your time and almost done all right that's good okay so that's the intersection of two vertical planes um, and you can also do it where like I said this part extends out and um, so then you'd have solid line and then when it cuts back in here it would be dashed when it goes behind so you will have some dash parts for sure um, but that's um, you'll have more dash lines if you do the back piece being a little shorter than the front piece but we know that these actually extend on forever if you're not talking about um, like in a blueprint or something like that so technically those go on forever anyway but that will give you um, some nice intersecting vertical plates.